Hi there. I'm really excited to be with Dr. Chris Bjornerl, naturopathic doctor and psychotherapist from Canada. And if you're a therapist, whether it's a naturopathic doctor, psychologist, or even a doctor looking to improve your skills in helping your patients with mental illness, then we've got an amazing workshop for you coming up this September in Edmonton. It's going to be full of experiential exercises, as well as looking at nutrition, homeopathic remedies, healing the gut, adrenal fatigue, uh, detoxifying the liver, balancing neurotransmitters and hormones. Um, I'm going to hand it over now to Dr. Chris to tell me what she does, and then I'm going to explain to you my approach as well and why my approach was approved for continuing medical education for naturopathic doctors in North America. So, Dr. Chris, thanks for joining me, and let's talk about this workshop. Yeah, well, thank you. I want to really extend my gratitude to you as well. I'm really excited about this, and I think it's going to be a great experience for everybody. So both Dr. Amit and I have written books on mental health, and the, the, the Dr. Amit focuses more on anxiety and depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and I have a specialty in bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. So the framework that I've, I've just developed and that I talk about in my book is basically there's four aspects to us as people. We have the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And in Western medicine, we're focused primarily on the physical side. So supporting neurotransmitter formation, generally using pharmaceutical medication. Yeah. When you come to see a naturopathic doctor, we are, are, we're still going to talk about that physical piece, but we're yeah. more inclined to use botanical medicine, uh, nutrition, diet, supplementation to support the physical aspects. Awesome. But I think where Dr. Amit and I really excel is that we, we place more emphasis on the mental, emotional, and spiritual aspects of health. And that is the unique differentiating factor that this course will engage you in feeling more comfortable talking about these pieces with your patients. We'll give you practical, awesome. practical experiential exercises from Gestalt Psychotherapy. I just wanted to correct uh, Amit as well. I'm not a trained psychotherapist, but I have done a year of Gestalt psychotherapy. Amit has done the, the full, he's a full psychotherapist. But I also have training in four other types of counseling that I incorporate. So compassion-focused therapy, mindfulness-based therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, and something called integrative reprogramming technique. Awesome. So, and how are you going to, sorry to interrupt you, Chris. Yeah. What are the participants going to, uh, do experientially in this workshop from your experience? You know, why is experiential learning more beneficial to them when they work with their patients rather than just theory? Well, I think when you bring in that the experiential approach, it, it often, at the end of the day, we are all only able to help people as far as we've helped ourselves. And so when you've gone through anxiety, for example, or depression, um, or you've had difficulty with eating or addictions, yeah. your, you'll, the, the, the experiential part is getting more into the body and getting the mind out of the way. So, and you have a lot of experience with bipolar and a history of difficult times, including suicide. Can you tell people you know, a bit about your story and I guess the recovery path you've been through, because I find that so valuable when you're learning from someone who has the experience of recovery, because you've tried the supplements, you've tried the psychotherapy, and you have a clear path. You know, please just tell me a bit or tell tell the workshop participants, mm -hmm. yeah, what your experience is, please. Yes. So I was. Uh, I don't know how, how far we want to go into this, but basically I've been given the label of bipolar disorder type one, and I never mm -hmm. resonated with that label. And, and, and part of the reason was, um, well, often when you get these diagnoses, you ask the question, why, you know, why me? Mm -hmm. And the answer mm -hmm. I got never sat, sat well with me. The answer that I received, well, it's basically, it's a genetic condition and it's just because you have the gene for it and I'm adopted. So that, explanation never sat well with me because I could never verify the truth of that statement. And it left me feeling like I'm a victim. So, so they 
you know, the only solution for me was to continue taking the psychotropic medication. So I did do that for 15 to 20 years. But in that time frame, I had three suicide attempts, one of which left me on dialysis with kidney failure, waiting for a kidney transplant. Yeah. I mean, I've been through some, I mean, I've really walked this path. And so participants will really get a sense of what it is to recover from severe mental illness and how to help their patient, how to connect yeah. with their patient yeah. through your teachings. Is that what I'm, is that what I'm understanding, Chris? Sure. Absolutely. So the framework that, that we teach will be how do you, how to support the body nutritionally from a diet mm -hmm. perspective, because if you don't put the right gas in the car, the car is not going to run. And certain okay. neurotransmitters require essential nutrients and it, yeah. These essential nutrients. In fact, I've just, uh, as a spinoff of, of the book that I've that I'm just published, yeah. another book, The Essential Diet: Eating for Mental Well-Being. So, yeah. people people are really lost when it comes to diet and nutrition alone, and that's one yeah. of the ten areas that Dr. Amit and I will will go through in in the retreat. So I think your approach will fit well. So I'm just going to let the viewers yeah. know, participants know. So my approach combines naturopathic medicine and energy psychology. Yes. So what you're going to get in addition to foods and nutrition is how to connect the adrenal system with emotional memory in the limbic brain and also leaky gut inflammation and liver toxicity. So a lot of doctors don't talk about the liver. I'm doing naturopathic doctors and functional medicine docs and how do we incorporate healing the liver to reduce toxicity in the body so there's less inflammation. Right, so we're going to go through homeopathic remedies. We're going to go through special foods and stuff that really help heal your liver, reduce leaky gut, and support your adrenal balance. Right. Mm -hmm. We're also going to talk about how your hormones are affected by your liver health, because in Chinese medicine, the liver is the master organ. So I'm really excited to work with your approach combined with my approach, Chris. And you as participants will get a full immersion in naturopathic medicine and experiential exercises. So, Chris, can you tell our participants what other experiential exercises, before I describe mine, mm -hmm. what experiential exercises you have in store for them? Mm -hmm. Without giving two away, of course, right? <laughs> yeah. So, one of the things that, so I'll just, I just want to, I'll just step back and, and sort of uh, paint the picture of the framework. So, we talked yeah. about the four aspects physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. And then what we want to recognize is that, as Dr. Meat was saying, that there's basically, from a physical perspective, there's three macro systems we want to support in, and teach you how to support. So the neurotransmitters wow. is one. Then the yeah. neuroendocrine system, which includes the adrenal system that Dr. Amit was talking about. And then the wow. organ for detoxification, which includes this concept of leaky gut syndrome. And you have to remember that you, all these things are interacting together within the one vessel that is your body. You do mm -hmm. not exist in silos within you, although our medical system is set up that way. And then the way yeah. we go about supporting this physical, basically supporting the person and, and mm -hmm. how we're going to teach you this framework is going through the diet, um, talking about, and I'll, now I'll get into this ex to answering the, the exercise part. So I yeah. have a framework that I've talked about that, that works on the, basically you have to look at the person's thoughts, their emotions. Yeah how they behave and react in the world, the environment gotcha. from the concept mm -hmm. of, we'll teach about epigenetics and neuroplasticity, and then we'll go okay. into this concept of spirituality. So one framework that I start with is called the seven R's of working with problematic thoughts and breaking the thought emotion cycle. So you have to enter the circle from different perspectives. And one of these, the first area is to get a, some awareness and teach people about how to manage thoughts. So that's right. one, one exercise. Another exercise that I think is really, really important that I, I love is developing this sense of trusting our intuition. Because mm -hmm. oftentimes with mental illness, there's a few voices going on within an, an, an individual. And it's a question mm -hmm. of which one do I trust? And it's understanding, and I'm not talking voices from a delusional <laughs> perspective here. I'm just talking about this, this, this mind chatter that we all have and learning to trust the intuition is really important. And a quote I'll leave you with that is by Joseph Campbell, which I think highlights what we're going to teach you is the mm -hmm. heart 
must usher the mind into the zone of revelation. Fantastic. Right? I love that. <laughs> so that's what we want to teach you to use your heart to usher your mind into the zone Good. of revelation. Good. And you're going to teach our participants how to work with their patients in this realm. That's right. That's absolutely. Or, uh, the, heart, the heart feeling. Great. So in addition to that, what I'm going to cover is also how to release trauma. Right. And I specialize a lot in family constellation therapy. So there'll be a chance for participants to do, to have family constellations done on them. And I'm going to expose you to EFT, EMDR, um, different techniques where trauma and belief systems are overcome so that the patient actually gives themselves permission to go beyond their stuckness. Mm -hmm. And when you can facilitate that for your patients, the results that you will get in their healing will be tenfold because you don't want your patients to rely only on supplements. You know what I mean? And you don't want your patients to be analytical about their problems because that doesn't really create an organic shift in their paradigm, in their, in their perspective. And what Dr. Chris and I are going to teach you is how to take these belief systems and put a mirror in front of your client's faces through your own personal growth. You see, all these exercises are about you going through your own personal shift. And when you understand how you shift, you're much more available to help your patients shift. And that's what we're going to do in this workshop in Edmonton. And um, really looking forward to seeing you there. And the dates? Do we want to share the dates? The dates we are going to put on the website in writing because they might shift. It will be sometime in September this year. And um, we will have an early bird rate for those who want to join. We want to limit it to about 15 people. That's the beauty about this because it'll be very personalized. That's right. Okay, you're going to get, you're going to be doing very personal ex exercises, experiential exercises in partners. And of course, we will be facilitating some of the work, both individual and partner work. And so we're keeping the numbers small. And uh, so please do sign up. And we probably won't be running another one this year just because of my schedule in Kenya and Dr. Chris's schedule. So please come because we really want to improve the skills of every therapist out there when it comes to mental health, combining nutrition with energy psychology, mind shifting, and trauma release. So the days will be posted soon. And we really want to encourage you to, to sign up for this unique retreat because mental health is something that every patient is dealing with. Whether they come in to, to see you because they've got acne or they come to see you because they have eczema. At the end of the day, this is a rising concern in our, globally, suicide rates are, in my, you know, both Amit and I are on a, on a mission to, to help save as many souls as we can from suicide. And this, and I've been in those dark days, and I know Dr. Amit has struggled with thoughts as well, and we, it, it's, we want to teach you as clinicians how to have better tools to to handle and help the patients that come into your into your office so good i'll leave that and, um, thanks chris mm -hmm. just um to add to this conversation you know why work with us i'm going to give you a bit of background from my story so i went through a lot of anxiety and depression of course joined naturopathic college and psychotherapy school did multiple trainings and different psychotherapy techniques. And I'll be in Greece this summer also doing another technique. And I worked a lot with the terrorist attacks, rape victims, um, the United Nations, different organizations in stress, wellness, trauma. And so we really carry a lot of experience between Dr. Chris and I. And we want to give everything we have during this workshop so that you have the techniques in your hand and you're comfortable working with mental illness and you're also personally healed or developed through this workshop so that you can work with your patients and show them the integrity of emotional well-being and really be a lighthouse for them, be an example of recovery mm -hmm. and be able to hold a space for vulnerable people in a way that helps them recover safely and then regain confidence in themselves. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say, Chris. So, yeah, really just honored to work with you. 
with you and really looking forward to having these people at our workshop. Thank you. Thank you. Listening. Thank you. See you guys at the retreat. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Okay. See you soon. Bye. See you soon. No.